Hello, hello. I just dropped my boys off at preschool and I have about two hours to get some stuff done. Um, this is such a busy time of year, you know, coming up on Christmas time. I have three Christmas parties this year. I mean, not this year, this week. And I have one tonight that I'm supposed to take 40 to 50 cookies to. So I need to get the ingredients for that and make those. And um, I need to also get teacher gifts. And I am about to try to do a project in the laundry room. And so I might get some stuff for that too. But I'm going to try to get as much done as I can in this two hours that I have. So we'll see. Well, I feel like that was pretty productive. I just finished in Target and I got all the stuff I needed for the cookies to bake. Hopefully they'll turn out okay. And I got some clothes for the boys because anytime I walk by the clothing section in Target, I pretty much always buy something. Um, and I got some cute ornaments that I found. Um, I'll show y'all some of the stuff when I get home, but I'm gonna head to TJ Maxx next and then Hobby Lobby and then I gotta hurry with those and then pick up the boys. Does anyone else get so excited on these aisles in TJ Maxx or is it just me? I just found some super cute stuff in TJ Maxx, but I kind of ran out of time, so I just threw this stuff in the back and I'm gonna go pick up the boys and I might just try Hobby Lobby tomorrow, but I'll show y'all what I got as soon as I get home. So the rain cannot go in my two fruit snacks. So that's fine, I'm, um, I'm doing it so the rain can go, um, it's closed. You ready, bud? Mm. What you eating? I ate some nuggets. Nuggets? Are they yummy? Yeah. We came to Sam's to get a few groceries. Hey, Bo. What you eating? Fries. Some fries? Are they yummy? Mm -hmm. I what love you. you. What doing? Recording you. Oh. I eat some nuggets. Yummy. What did we find, bud? Some um, some blueberries and strawberries, some bananas and eggs, and our picture of milk. And y'all were so good, weren't you? Yep, and bananas. Hey, Max. I'm, I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm proud of you. You're proud of me? Yeah. Thank you. So we're home now from the store and from picking up the boys from preschool. And I got Bo down for his nap, which was much needed. And Max is supposed to be having some rest time, but I think I hear him. What you doing, buddy? Are you sneaking out of your rest time? Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I got and um, then I'm going to make some cookies and hopefully they'll turn out okay because I don't have a backup plan. So, oh, thank you. What you doing? I'm doing. You're so cute. Ah. I love you. I love you. Okay, so I went to Target first and I got the stuff I need for cookies, which were the Reese's and I needed some more oil, so I just got this oil. And then I found these ornaments in 
the little dollar spot. They were a dollar. Look at how pretty they are. I don't know. There might be a reflection on it. That one's so pretty. I have, I have none batteries. No batteries. We'll charge it, okay? But I don't need to charge this for tonight. Okay. And then I got one more that's like it. It says, let it snow. It's just so pretty. They're glass ornaments. And it was one dollar. So worth it. I love ornaments. They're so fun. Um, and then that's some the rest of the stuff for the peanut butter cookies. And then, um, oh, and I got some cards too. It was eight cards, so enough for all my kids' teachers. And this was only a dollar. So it's perfect. And then, like I said, I can't go to the kids' section and not buy clothes. Um, Bo really needed some gray pants and Target was having buy one get one 50% off so and these pants are only nine dollars so Not too bad. That was it from Target. I didn't get a whole lot there, but at TJ Maxx I got a lot of cleaning stuff um, I have some you know, I clean a lot, but I, I was in need of some new sponges and new towels so I got these microfiber sponges for doing dishes and a new dish scrubber which was only like $3.99 and I'm going to a Christmas party tonight that you have to take an what ornament to and that's a scrub brush for the sink when you're doing dishes. Do you like it? I brushed it by hand. Yeah. At TJ Maxx, this was a three-pack of ornaments, which I love the ornaments that look like wood, like this. And there's one that says Joy, and one that says Merry and Bright, and one that says It's a Wonderful Life. And it was three ornaments for $5.99, which I thought was great. And I've always wanted to get this, and I never have for my refrigerator. Um, it's egg storage, and it just looks so much better than like an egg carton being in your fridge. And it was only... $5.99 so I'm gonna get the fridge organized in a little bit and put all the eggs in there and then I'm so excited about this because I love writing stuff down and staying organized but this is a Ray Dunn planner for 2019 and it's just so cute and um, I can even start in now because they have like the months right now but then it has like the whole uh, month, but then day by day, which is great because sometimes you just can't fit everything you need to fit in those little boxes. So I love the day by day stuff. And it's so cute. Plan ahead. And it was only $12.99. So not bad. I also got some microfiber cloth, <clears throat> cleaning cloths, and you just can't ever have too many of these. This was a 12 pack for $6.99, which is such a good price. Mom, and brushing. this is my favorite Mom, color. This is, oh, you're brushing your Leap Pad? Yeah. This is a 10 pack for $5.99, which is great. And I got this little bin to keep, let's put that receipt away, we don't wanna think about that. I got this little bin to keep all my microfiber towels and I actually only have a couple of these towels that I just wash and use all the time so I really wanted to like stockpile the towels so I'm gonna roll them up and organize them in this bin right here which I think is really cute and it was only $7.99 and then I also got I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna use this but I got this for the fridge and my kids have cups every single day and I feel like they have them all over the counter and Bo drinks milk the rest of the kids drink water but I was thinking I could line because I have four kids line their cups up in this and then keep it in the fridge so they just know exactly where their cups are at all times and they don't have to ask me or, you know, they have trouble keeping track of them, so. Um, and then at Sam's, well, at, at Target too, I got some groceries, but obviously that's not important. And at Sam's, I got some groceries too and then I got, I wanna trade out their picture it's 16 by 20 and Sam's has the cheapest picture 16 by 20 and it's less than seven dollars and it's you can't see all of them but there's Kate and Max and little Bo Ava's covered up but I'll roll it out and show y'all how it looks when I put it into the frame and I also got this shirt at Sam's it was twelve dollars and it's just a cute shirt that can tie in the front sometimes Sam's has the cutest clothes so I just grabbed that
So a tip to get stubborn, sticky residue off containers is WD-40. I know that sounds weird, but you just scrub it with a paper towel and obviously you wash it really well afterwards, but it comes right off. Anyone else have a restaurant condiment stockpile in their fridge? Hey, it comes in handy sometimes. I love to wash and cut up all of our fruit at the beginning of the week. That way it's super easy for my kids to grab a snack when they need one and it's so much easier to pack in their lunches too.
camera battery died, but basically what I did is balled up the peanut butter Whoa. cookies and I put them in the mini oven tins. And now I'm gonna put them in the oven for about 10 minutes. And then as soon as they come out, I'm gonna put a Reese's peanut butter cup on top of them. So let's see. As soon as they came out, I just pushed the Reese's into the cookie and they turned out really well. And we've already tried some and they taste really good. So I'm gonna take these to the party tonight. Okay, so continuation of yesterday a little bit. Last time after I made all those cookies, um, I went to the Christmas party, it was so much fun. We exchanged all our cookies and I came home with a bunch of yummy cookies. We also had a little ornament exchange, which was super fun. It was just good girl time. And then when I got home last night, after catching up with Mark and talking about our days, by the time we finished, it was like almost one or 2 a.m. and I was so tired, so I just went straight to sleep. But yesterday, I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby during um, the boys' preschool time, but I ran out of time because that time always goes by so fast. And so I decided I would go today and I thought I would just have Bo because normally Max has preschool on Tuesday, but Max doesn't have preschool today because um, they canceled preschool because it's cold outside. I mean, they had to because I think the governor declared like a state of emergency because of potential ice, but it's 50 degrees right now. Um, <clears throat> it was like 32 degrees this morning. But anyways, I have both boys today and we are heading into Hobby Lobby, so I'm probably a little bit crazy, but Max promised he's gonna be good. Hey Max, are you gonna be good? Oh, there's that booty. Let's pull your pants up. They promise they're gonna be good, so we'll see what happens and we'll see what goodies we can find. You got crazy hair. Oh, that's not loud at all. Then, then you'll get out of jail. Out of jail? Yeah. And I saw a bubble now. And what else would you For what? It broke, Mama. It didn't break? Yeah, but we have, I have a khaki wearing up. Isn't that cool? I love it. This way, though. What was this? It's a baby. <laughs> well, Mark's working late tonight and my sweet precious friend came to pick up my girls to take them to cheerleading practice. Why are you making those noises? And my boys are kind of grumpy. So we're gonna go pick up Chick-fil-A for dinner because I don't feel like cooking. I mean, I really never feel like cooking. And hopefully Mark will be on his way home soon. Dinner time is always a little bit crazy at our house. Even though the girls were at cheer, the boys were still kind of loud and not really letting us have any kind of conversation, but we still love to eat dinner together. Thank y'all so much for being so supportive of my channel. I really appreciate it so much and I'll see you guys next time.